Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be redoing this arch cabinet and giving it a completely different look. So if you wanna see how it turns out, then just keep watching. I found this cabinet on Facebook Marketplace for $75 and I've actually done the same exact cabinet before. I kept it from my own home and so I knew I wanted this one really badly. I ended up offering her $140 to make sure I was able to pick it up and I'm so glad I did. I have a completely different idea for this cabinet so I'm really excited about it. I found this beautiful cabinet but it was almost $2,000 so my plan is to recreate this look on my cabinet for a fraction of the price. This cabinet is solid wood and it's in really good condition, especially for its age. There is a lot of glass and a lot of mirrors though on this piece. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm not the biggest fan of those. So I am gonna be switching them out. First thing I did was remove the door and try to remove the hinges. Unfortunately, I broke one of the hinges. I was kind of freaking out at this point. I was really worried I wasn't gonna be able to find another hinge or fix this hinge, but you'll see later it wasn't a big deal. Next up was removing the backboard. I had to remove about a million staples. It was kind of time consuming, but you have to do it. So right in front of this backboard are two large pieces of glass. And I knew this because I've done this cabinet before. But for some reason, I just didn't think I needed to ask my husband for help. I definitely should have because the top piece of glass ended up falling out and I'm thankful that it didn't shatter into a million pieces. After I got all the glass removed, it was time to get to sanding. And I hope you guys like sanding clips because there are a lot of them in this video. This took forever to sand. I spent two full days sanding this piece down, but it was definitely worth it. I'm using my Craftsman $50 orbital sander with 120 grit sandpaper. This process was pretty nice though, not having to worry about burning through any veneer besides the very top and the very bottom of the piece. I'm gonna be painting the inside of this piece. So I'm going in with my Anvil Cleaner by Melange Paints to get it all clean. I really like this cleaner because you don't have to rinse it off with water after. You can just get right to painting once it's dry. Thank you. 
I ended up choosing Mink Brown by Melange Paints for the inside of the cabinet. I love this paint color. I actually used a paint wash of the same color on my dining table and it's just a really pretty color. I'm applying the paint using a square zebra brush and then I'm painting in the direction of the wood grain. My nephew loves to help me out on projects, so he was really excited to get to work on this one. I love when my kids want to help me with my projects. I think it's really sweet, and just being able to teach them is really fun. Look ahead, the sea is calm, and I know we've been through a lot, but just wait. For better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. After doing two coats of paint on the inside of the cabinet, I'm going in with the same color of paint and doing a paint wash on the outside of the cabinet. A paint wash is basically just staining using paint instead. I'm using about 30% paint and 70% water, mixing it together and then applying it just like a stain. Brush it on and wipe it off. paint wash I realized that it was a little bit too cool toned so I went and picked up the stain that Christina recommended. It's general finishes wood stain in antique oak. It's water based and it just adds a little bit of warmth to the piece which is exactly what I'm going for. So I went right back home after buying it, applied it to the whole piece and it just tinted it a little bit and it turned out perfectly. In my inspiration picture, the cabinet that was used used real cane webbing. And while I love real cane and it's beautiful, it's very expensive, especially when you have to have so much of it. So instead of using real cane, I'm going with burlap and I'm just trying to decide which color burlap I'm gonna go with. I asked my Instagram followers and they liked the darker version better and I did too. So that's what I went and picked up. I measured each piece of glass and then I added a couple inches on the sides to make sure that I had enough burlap to cover it completely. I placed the Mod Podge onto the glass to make sure that my burlap was going to be completely straight and not move once it was attached to the piece. Once the burlap was laid over the Mod Podge, I used a microfiber roller to make sure that the burlap was completely adhered to the Mod Podge and then also to air out any of the air bubbles. I did the same process to every piece of glass on the piece. Of 
after letting them dry for about an hour, it was time to reattach them to the piece. I want to be able to feel and see the texture of the burlap better, so I placed the burlap side on the outside of the piece. And don't worry, that white stuff is just the Mod Podge, it's not fully dry yet, but it'll be completely clear once it's all dry. We are so close to being done with this cabinet, but first I needed to make a trip to Home Depot to get a new backboard cut and to get some wood shelves cut too. I picked out a quarter inch plywood for the backboard and then three quarter inch plywood for the shelves. Look ahead, the sea is calm and I know we've been through a lot, but just wait. It's time to cut the backboard plywood and honestly I was pretty nervous to do this part. I'm not super confident using power tools just yet. I don't know if I ever will be, they're a little bit intimidating to me, but I knew I could do it so I had to start. I'm using the original backboard as a stencil. I'm just marking where I need to cut and then using my circular saw to start. I was worried I wasn't going to get clean enough lines, so I decided to just circular saw off a bunch of the extra plywood and then go in with my jigsaw to get a little bit closer to the line, but not close enough to mess it up. It is finally done. Here's one last look at the before and here it is now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I'll see you next time.